Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Let me get a little chat back if everybody can hear okay. Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. All right. Good, good. Good to see you, Don. Deborah, everyone. All right, good, everyone. Welcome back for this lovely Wednesday. Happy Passover. For the ones celebrating Passover, Good Friday's coming up on Friday. So it looks like we got a pretty much a pretty exciting day so far. How do you like the NBRX? You know, I put a um, an Instagram uh, out there regarding a photograph of it. And I don't know if you guys have been following me on it. You know, I know, you, I know a lot of you are, but if you're not, I'm always out there now just trying to post up there more and more. And uh, hold on one second. Got the wrong screen up. Me showing. There we go. So, um, and I kind of just kind of a little quick little description just saying, you know, early bird gets the money. Early bird gets the money. So it's been a really, really nice day with this uh, NBRX. If you came in early, you should have got in when we all pretty much got in around 740. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of chased it. I paid about a buck 20 for it. I got a little, a little upset because I didn't get filled on my full order. I wanted several thousand shares of it, and I couldn't get it. I was like, oh, just a little, little late on it. Um, but I did average up, so I'm doing okay with it. It's doing pretty well. Up 170%. Where, where do you get that, huh? Where do you get that in pre-market? Beautiful. I mean, granted, we didn't get it at 40 cents, 50 cents, but you know what? Still a nice little stock. Anyway, you know, one little big issue about the stock itself, just be careful because on we here on the matrix, you're not seeing anything. You do have to go pop over here on the, uh, the level four of the book map, and you could see we got some buyers out here now. We got a ninety-three thousand share buyer at a buck fifty. Okay, we see you, buddy. We know we know you're out there. We know you want to buy. We also see a seller out there at a buck sixty, but uh, we can see these sellers getting taken out little by little. So it's been doing pretty well. You can see it's kind of testing these resistances. It must be the guy from there who came back at, back again. So um, this is the beauty about trading pre-market and uh, knowing exactly where to get and where to get out. But you know what? Well, listen, market's not even open. It's not even open. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to be doing a couple of uh, YouTube videos for some of you out there that just want to, you know, maybe it's like a 10-minute video of pre-market. Uh, I know you guys take classes with us, and obviously those are really intense, the coaching and everything else. But just kind of give you like a couple of like – there's a lot of people, I'm again, a, a lot of people have been emailing me, and, you know, a lot of people want to start getting into trading, and it's just amazing, but – Sometimes as a speaker, I talk to Josh about this all the time. Sometimes we, we, we're just a little too advanced, just literally just too, too advanced for some of the people out there, and they, they don't know where to start. So I'm going to, you know, and obviously if you're being a student here, that's the last thing you need to know, being a beginner. But I'm going to do some really, really beginner-ish, you know, how to get started and, and stuff like that kind of videos. I think that's going to really try to help out a lot of people out there uh, when it comes to trading. Grant says gold spike now at at 1692. Well, Grant, I held that I hold I hold gold for such a long time and I'm um, finally I'm finally making money on that thing. I was always a big fan of uh, of gold and uh, I don't know, when I when I originally bought gold, everybody kept telling me, "Oh, it's going to go to 4,000, 5,000." It's like it was like the next uh, the next uh, cryptocurrency stock. But, you know, obviously <laughs> I wrote it down from I think I owned it at like 1500 something like that 1530 something like that i wrote it all the way down to like 1200 well, not the end of the world but definitely something good to go on so anyway regarding about yesterday guys uh there was just basically there were a couple of good stocks that are going on i'm still interested to see what the hell's going on with lk lk um is still is it open is it open or not it was halted it looks like it opened up now is it the stock's been halted since yesterday. I'll see what happens. But no, it's still been halted. It's still halted. Stock is still halted. I don't know what's going on with it. Obviously, not good news, but I have it on the watch list. One of our best winners last week, but um, it just came up on my radar because now it's halted. So definitely want to keep an eye on that stock. We um, NVAX is going to be picking up also what's going on for today. That's also been a really, really nice mover for us. You can see NVAX right here. We've traded so many times. Another Corona stock. You know, stock went from $8 up to 17 back down to 6 
up to you know up to 17 right now. It's up pretty nicely. It did pretty well yesterday. But the, you know a lot of the stocks are, are piggybacking from yesterday. I want I want to talk about them. But for some reason, I'm seeing all over again mortgage stocks. Mortgage stocks. If you look right here on the left hand side, they are all up. Regardless of the stock of the, the MBRX, which is a cheapie for us. But there's a couple other cheapies out there that I want to talk about and I want to bring them up. How about NYMT? Okay. We made a lot of money on this stock about a couple about a week ago. Some of you remember we traded a buck twenty. The thing ran to two dollars, you know, um, a little bit more than two bucks. We did we killed it on that stock. Here's one of the stocks that got killed with the coronavirus, but that stock we, we made a lot of money on these mortgage stocks. Maybe it has a lot to do with you know, the, uh, the loans that are going out there. But that stock did really, really well. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that are out there too. EFC, you could just go down the list. And, you know, it's funny. If you look at the right and you look at the, the daily chart versus the intraday chart, they almost basically look exactly the same. EFC, this one too, it's up a 55%. Yeah, yeah, 55% in pre-market already. The only thing I do not like about it is look what happened from eight o'clock till nine till nine o'clock. It kind of really hasn't gone anywhere. I mean, it. I don't like. I don't like pretty much like the spread. Money is key right now, right, Grant? It is. So anyway, we just follow the money. You know, I keep bringing this up, and um, you know, regarding about. I mean, I don't know if you guys are sick of the coronavirus. I mean, I feel like this thing is going to haunt us for several years, and it's going to constantly, constantly be out there. I'm talking about when you build hysteria, you could really do some serious damage. And, you know, now it's like, you don't know, are we going back to work? Are we not going back to work? Are we going back to work? Is the market going to come back? Is it not going to come back? Are we going to be doing business with China? Are we, are we not going to ever do business with China? I mean, like, you know, it's just like every day. It's like it's, it's, it's incredible. It, it, it was supposed to have 300,000 deaths. Now it doesn't look like we're going to have 300,000 deaths here in the United States. Might be, you know, a fraction of that. So there's just a lot of anxiety going out and everything else. But let me tell you, every time – Something like that happens, it caused the market to move, you know, certain stocks, you know. So, you know, you know, listen, if you if if you love your politician or you hate your politician, if you look at every single presidency, wherever it goes on, they all had a catastrophe they had to deal with sometime in their life. And, you know, it, and regardless, whatever they say will make the market move because Wall Street, that's what we are. We're a part of Wall Street. We just have better, you know, better technology because we don't have to go work for somebody. We could just do it at luxury at home. So you got to be really careful. You got to listen to them very carefully regarding about the stimulus packages, about deaths, whatever it is, because it's making stocks like these that are moving. And Vax. And, and by the way, there's another one that's moving I didn't bring up. APT. Remember APT, guys? We killed it on APT. Killed it. When this whole thing took off with this whole coronavirus stuff, this stock went from $5 up to 40 Now, it's funny. Someone comes up to me and asks me, well, why is it back down to 12 Listen, I didn't say it was a swing trader, okay? I'm a day trader. That stock in one, we would trade that stock every day. We had so much fun with that stock. And you know what? Sometimes you forget about it. But guess what? She's up 14% today. She must, have, must be doing something. I think they make the suits, you know? Is that what they do? I think they make the, the they, they, they make the, the mask and the, the soups and some, something very similar to 3M, APT. But they're doing well. Um, IVR, another one I want to bring up, another investments, uh, another brokerage firm. That's up there. Uh, by the way, I'm going to put all these, these stocks in the watch list. Uh, you don't have to kill yourself to write them down. Here's another one, N NLY. This one's gapped up 22%. You can just see the, the numbers. MITT, that's a very popular one. You've seen that one plenty of times. Uh, that one's up 21%. At least that one's got a little bit of a trend. And then, uh, and then obviously, you know, there's a lot of the other stocks that are moving due to the market. The market's up about, I don't know, was it two, 300% right now? Up 320. So a lot of brand name stocks. Listen, we had a great rally yesterday, and then we just crashed down. And now we're coming back up. I'm telling you, I'm, feel, I'm feeling the bottom. I really am feeling the bottom. Okay? I'm doing well with my Boeing. You know, you could see now it's starting. It didn't make a lower low, which is key right here. Huge, huge. Uh, benefit right there. You know, by the way, not to br bring up Boeing, President Trump was actually talking about Boeing just um, on TV. Maybe that has something to do with it. He was saying it was the greatest company in, in the United States or in the world. You know, the only problem is no one's buying planes right now. But, you know, listen, 
you get you know you want to be you want to be a good swing trader you damn well better learn how to day trade first okay you really really do and there's, there's some great opportunities out there but we still got to focus on the day trading part of it because i don't think we're out of the woods with all this unbelievable volatility i just want to pop back over there with the mbrx again because it's starting to test a new high and we're coming up to this big seller right here you could see him here he is eighty thousand shares gonna test them right now and want to see if he gets done here he is over here you can see him right there looks like gonna test that seller out there if it's if it breaks through that seller it should shoot right to, to a buck 65 and the next resistance is a buck 80 so looks like we look pretty strong right here if but we got to break through this resistance levels uh uaa uh ual AOL. Right, Grant, they're all, they're all pretty much moving. A lot of all the airlines, Delta, all of them, obviously the market's doing pretty well. Uh, what else we got? AAL we talked about, UAL. Yeah, they're all doing pretty decent, up 4%. Not up huge, but, you know, market is making a little bit of a, a nice little move right here. So, But remember, these are second protocols right now. Unless we're getting a nice big rally, like another 1,000, 16-point rally, that's one thing. But let's stick what we know best. Less risk more reward that's what it's all about right stocks like you know all these uh morgan stocks that are moving again up today up 13 percent, 20 percent you know and then you got the nbrx that's up you know 160 percent all right guys so listen if you knew for, if you so for everybody here remember this is just pre-market we'll wait and see what happens when the market opens up and we'll go from there because of, uh, you know, we always find new stocks that will pop up. So far, this, this one looks like the nicest one going into the open. Uh, oh, get, we'll get into that 60. I want to see if that guy gets taken out. Oh, yep, look, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. What does that mean? That guy got executed. What does that tell us? We're going higher. Going higher. Love this job. All about following the money, guys. <laughs> All right. So let's have some fun. Listen, guys, we'll see you. Um, we're going to start commentating in the trading room in about another 15 minutes. So why don't you guys get ready for the open. And in the meantime, if you're listening in on our YouTube or Facebook channel live, feel free to, uh, if you ever want to join us, come and join us whenever you feel like it and see what it's like to trade in the markets, you know, and see how we trade stocks like MBR, MBRX. And if you are a trial member in here right now, guys, all I could tell you is just sit back and watch and then see if trading's for you. And if it is, we'll let you know how to move forward. Guys, good luck today. Happy trading.